We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Right. I am now recording this stream. I'm now recording this because what I'm going to try and do, and I've never done this before. It's it's kind of it's kind of lazy. Uh, this is kind of a lazy thing that I'm doing. Is as you guys know in in this Facebook group. Uh, normally, when I get something, I'll, I'll use it for an extended period of time before I do a review. Um, and I never do unboxings. I think I've done a couple over the years. I don't like doing them because you you get people that will say to you, you you can take it out the box and you know there and then if it's good or bad. I I I used to be that arrogant. I used to think like that years ago, um, and I've had lots of gear over the years where my initial impression was it was shit, and then it was only after using it for a period of time and getting the build bang on that it actually, I mean, take the the Psycho. I mean, the Psycho, I really didn't like. I really didn't like it when I first got it. And, and now it's up there with my, possibly one of my favorite RDAs of the year. Um, so, so doing unboxing videos, I would never base a purchase on somebody's unboxing video. So that's that. But uh, today we're going to be having a look at this Le Turbo and this is live, I'm recording it because I'm going to stick it on my YouTube channel later as a live unboxing vid. Hopefully it works. Uh, thank you to uh, Rob Rumis at Steam Island as always for sending on this and also for sending on these uh, which are, let's see if this works, Justice for TJ. It worked. <laughs> you want a Becky? Yes, there you go. This is from Uncle Rob. No, this is from Sausage. Sausage. Um, it's Rob's dog. There you go, pal. Oh, that stinks. Right. Lovely. That's that out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to need. Uh, I will be ignoring the chat and 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 and. Facebook just now. I apologise for ignoring chat because it's um, all I get is insults like John Haywood, nice shirt, is your kitchen table naked? Um, I, yeah, it, it's, it's just everybody taking the piss. Just horrible people. Horrible people. Right, shall we do this? Once again, I've never put a build in this. I've not even opened the tin this is, you may know how this works. You may have put builds in it. I haven't, I haven't got a clue. If anything, this video is shits and giggles. It's just a bit of fun. So um, don't get all upset and holier than thou uh, because it's just vaping. Right, we have a table. Hopefully there's still volume coming through here and, and, and hopefully this works. Uh, right. What have we got? We've got a number in the bottom. What's the serial number? Right, can I just spin her open? Uh, I, I I can't remember the last the last RDA I had from these guys. I forget. Uh, but okay, we have some Atulios. Um, was this about 130 pounds? It was 127, 129 pounds. I think is the retail price for this, if I remember right. But uh, it looks like we have a squonky pin here, spare screws, and an Allen key. Pouch, la vapanot or vapanot, or however the hell you say it. Um, I should really, <laughs> what I should really have done is brought up the a web page with all the spec. But um, I apologise. We're winging this. We're just winging it. Right. Here we go. Uh, I'm guessing 22 millimeters in diameter. Uh, I'll need my. Where's my calipers? Here we go. No drip tip comes with this. No drip tip. So it's 23.27 in height and just under 22 millimeters in diameter. Uh, looks like stainless steel. We've got an Ultum tank going on here. 
Uh, we have a rating going on here. Is this the right way up? Yes, it is. It's the right way up. Um, actually, hang on a second. Oh, look at that. Hell, so if you put the lights on. Uh, right. Okay, so. Does, does, has anybody seen the manual? Does anybody know how this works? <laughs> let's let's try and get into this. Let's try and get into this and, and figure out how this works. Um, this is not a promotion for Squape. Uh, right. Top cap. Oh, it's just a sleeve. Oh, that's just a sleeve for the AFC. Oh, okay, I see what we've got going on here. Lots of holes going around here. And obviously, if I put a little bit of e-liquid on it, it would probably work a lot better. But I'm just going to say you can just spin that round and set up your AFC. That's pretty straightforward. Right. There we go. Oh, oh this is different. Okay, this is where can this is where the confusion starts setting in. <laughs> this is this is going to go horribly wrong. Uh, right, uh, as far as I could tell from the photos, and, I, and I'm guessing here. I mean, if you look at it like that, there's your airflow underneath, and there's your positive and your negative, and then your coil's just going to sit. So it it's just. I can see what they've done there. Where, where? Oh, the wells around the back. Okay, I hadn't seen that in um, photos. I hadn't noticed that. So how's the wicking? Where's it squonk from? I'm kind, kind of guessing that um, when you squonk, the juice is going. I could be completely wrong here, but I'm kind of guessing that the juice is going to come in through here. Your cotton's going to come round the back and sit in here and that's enough chatting about it let's just let's just break it let's just see if we can't do this um will i put a squonk pin in yes i'm going to squonk with this because drip it is dripping actually dripping with this will be you'll have to take the cap off it every time won't you <laughs> no the squonk pin isn't in it so let's, I'm kind of hoping that that's what the Allen key is for. Yes, it is. Oh, see, this is where it falls to bits. This is, this is where it all goes wrong. Normally when I do these lives, this is, this is the exact moment where everything stops working. Um, okay, right. Let's take that little. Hang on. That does look like a squonky pin. Is this the squonky? It is. That is a squonking pin. I'm an idiot. Okay, so that's just sitting on there. Oh, hang on. So you're going to be able to move this as well. Oh, now that is kind of clever. I suppose depending on what kind of coils you're using, or um, you'll be able to set this up. I, I've I've just kind of at this moment in time kind of wishing that I really hadn't taken this to bits now. Um, there we go. There's air coming through there. Right. Uh, screwdriver. Is that that's no that's not right. I'm going to have to back this off. Oh, this is going to go horribly wrong. Yeah, kind of now, right? That's kind of sitting how would it be, how I would expect it, right? Back the screws off. Uh, <laughs> I really, I really haven't got a clue. At this moment in time, my little brain is just about to explode. Um, Right, what kind of size coil? Um, right, I'm going to go for. I'm just going to go for a simple round wire build just now. Oops, uh, because I, I I really don't trust myself uh, putting in in anything else right now. Um, 
I need a coiling rod as well. Excuse me, I wasn't prepared for this, as usual. I've just this is one of um, my PC coils from Peter, um, and did I pick up the right one that's wrapped the right way? No, I didn't. Oh well, we'll just. How the hell are you going to? Oh, how the hell? No, this isn't going to be fun. This is going to be horrible. Why did I choose to? No. <laughs> Why did I choose to do this one? That this is going to be shit. I'm really tempted to cut the legs to length rather than try and wrapping them in there, because that's 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 whose idea was this? Oh, God no. Right, hang on. That's going to go around there. That's going to come out there. So I'm going to. I, I, I'm 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 kind of cheating. I don't know if this will. I don't know if this will work. I have no idea. I should really look at the chat in my Facebook page, because there's people there that have actually got these things, and and I'm sure that they know the easiest ways to set this up. I think I'm onto a winner here, though. Ow! Ow! I've just put wire right in my finger. <laughs> right, back these screws right out. Okay, that's right out. That's right out. Um. Okay, which way was I going? I was going this way. Right. Excuse me, just a second. Well, I, I. Ah, it's. See that the, there's life in the old dog yet. I, I, I think I'm on a winner here. I know there's people that are going to be screaming, going, no, that's not how you do it. But it's the way I'm doing it. Oh, please work. Please work. Right, this looks okay. This actually looks... This actually is looking like I might get away with this here. Coil's bent up. Let's try snipping this. I really want to look at the, my Facebook live chat, but I know that um, I'll I'll be getting murdered. How's this looking? Well, oh, this is looking. This is, I think I've got my legs the wrong way around. Is that is that looking acceptable? Do you think? It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Need to just come over just a tiny little bit. Right there we go. Right, let's let's dry fire this, or let's give this a little pulse. Uh, I need something with a battery in it. Got my MVP here. What's that saying? Yep, it's come out at uh, 0 0.4. And we'll just give this a... It's kind of close enough. There we go. Bosh, done. Uh, now, Cotton. We need cotton from somewhere. Uh, where's my cotton? <laughs> I can't find my cotton. Uh, excuse me while I get a bit of emoji. Ah, fire that down there. Right. See, normally the thing is, when I do these live things in my Facebook group, I've actually got, it's, it's like having moral support. If I know I'm doing it wrong, I've got all these people shouting at me, telling me I'm doing it wrong. So it, it, it's not quite as bad. Uh, but 
because I can't see them just now, I can't see the chat, I've absolutely no idea if I'm doing this wrong or not. Right, I'm just taking this, pushing this right round the back here. Uh, I'm just going to, I don't know if I'm doing this right. So I've got that. I think that's just a bit too much cotton. I'm absolutely guessing. I'm guessing. So I'm just going to take that round into the well there. Do the same on the other side. Is that it? Are we done? Could I be that lucky? Could I be that lucky that I got it done? Um, right, I need a squonker. Have I got a squonker here? I haven't. I've not got a squonker set up. No. Um. <laughs> well, hang on. Here's I've got my little born in the man cave one. I just want to make sure that this is actually squonking before I do anything else. So the juice. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the juice is coming in the back there. There we go. Okay, so it does. It fills up that well at the back. Right, okay. Um, I've just I've just turned round and I've just caught I've just caught sight of the, the chat and as usual there's Simon McDermott has just called me something that I can't repeat on my YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna juice this up just now. I would like to say that I'm using uh, Simon McDermott's juice, which is Jedi's punk, but uh, I'm not because it's rank. Um, so, <laughs> I'm only kidding. What am I using? Ah, I think, no, I'm not. I'm not using that. I am using a custard, however. Uh, right, so uh, there we have one coil sitting there. I'm going to go fully open to start off with. So I'm just lining up that there. There we go. And uh, right. Holy crap. Is that it? That could be it. I'll put these lights off. Um, oh, no. And uh, I need to find a drip tip. And I do actually need, I do actually need to I need to set up a squonker. That's so bad. This is so wrong. I, I can tell you what. Um, yes, regulated should do. So I'm going to use my Born in the Man Cave one after all. I need a Molly cell battery. Pop that in there. Down she goes. Okay. Houston, we have uh, we have lift off. Uh, I need a drip tip. What drip tip? Drip tip. I'll use my my favourite little drip tip here, which I can never remember who made it. Um, so there we go. We've got a bit of the it possibly it works. Okay. Oh, well, see, I'm just checking if it's possible to over squonk, and it is, because I just squonked there, and I obviously over squonked because I just saw some juice going down into the. The screw hole there, or the, where the screw is. Oops. Have I flooded? I think I flooded it. That's what it is. That can't be right. That sounds terrible. What have I done? I've, I've, I've broken something. <laughs> I've either got the coil too close or I have actually flooded it. Now that looks... That looks okay. I think I just flooded it. That was all. I 
that's a restrict. I thought that was going to be a lot more air. I think it's because I've possibly got the coil sitting too far in at the post there, and there's not enough air getting in round about it. But the way I've built it, possibly wrong, possibly wrong, um, there just now it is. That's flooded. Broken it. I've definitely broken it. There's no way it can sound like that on purpose. I tell you what, I'm going to try lifting the coil out just a tiny, tiny little bit and see if that makes any difference to that um, noise because that just sounds terrible. You you know this is this is where th this is where things are going to go horribly wrong. Yeah, okay. That's good. We're all good. Lost my drip tip. Lost my drip tip. So what did I do? I take my glasses off. There it is. It's on my keyboard. It was, as the coil was too close into the air hole. That's actually not bad. Sorry about the, I've had to switch my fan off. Sorry, that actually, I'm worried about flooding it all the time because I can't see, you can't see the well at the back. Um. And you know yourself, normally when you squonk, you, you, you kind of see the juice just peeking through the, the, the window, the squonk, the, the air hole there, and you know when to back off. I'm not, because I've just got this, I'm not sure how much pressure it takes to fill that well up. Um, I think there'll be a, a period of adjustment with the because the cotton goes round the back to that well. Um, don't know. But it is, it's a, it's a direct lung, but the fully open, uh, there is a hint of a restriction there. Um, because of the air hole underneath the, the coil, or the air hole between the, the opening here and coming through, I, I, I don't know if you're ever going to get a true mouth to lung with this. Uh, I'd be, I can't, I, obviously I can't try it with the coil that I've got in there just now, uh, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll try spinning this round and getting this to uh, another ear hole size and it's, it's all, <laughs> it's all stuck together now. I can't get the sleeve off. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely welded. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Right. I've just got a little ear hole open in this now. It does tighten it down a fair old bit though. Well that's that well that's not bad. That's um It's probably what the the cool kids these days call a mouth to lung. But it's a very loose mouth to lung for me. Uh, that's it down at its... I've just got one air hole open there, actually. And that's it. I can't tell you anything else because I've just taken out the tin and I've just thrown a coil in it. I, obviously, listen, there, there, there'll be people out there that have got this and have been putting builds through it and know exactly where what you should be doing. Um, things off the top of my head, pre-bend pre the legs, that has to be the way, that has to be the way to do it. Um, and I wouldn't say it's that difficult. If I managed it first time out the tin, then it's not that difficult. 
because believe me, I can make a pig's ear of anything. And, and if I manage that, then anybody else can. Um, it's just basically taking your normal deck and they've just flipped it on its side. I mean, that's all they've done. I do like the fact that you can spin the two, the top and the bottom part. So you, you do, you can, you know, depending on the kind of build you're going for. Uh, would I put a Clapton in this or a Fused or anything like that? Don't think so. Uh, looking, I think, me personally, I think this is going to work best with simple round wire builds. I could be very, very wrong. It's possible people putting really fancy builds in this. Uh, what I'll do is I'll keep using it and I'll put an update in my next vlog. I think that's the, the, the best way I can do it. But I'm going to stop recording this now and I'm going to go back just to my Facebook group. So for those of you that joined me on YouTube, I apologise for possibly making a complete mess of doing this. But um, keep an eye out for a proper review.